Hello, welcome back to another video. I hope you're doing really well. Today, I wanted to film a sit down video and go through how to get back on track with your workouts, your nutrition and general routine. The first thing I did want to mention about this phrase like falling off track is to actually ask yourself, are you on the right track? Is your approach too restrictive? Is it not realistic? Is it actually important to you? If it's a goal that you can literally forget, it might not mean as much to you as you, as you think. You can save yourself so much time just by asking yourself that. I've definitely had to do that a few times. There were three months quite recently where I felt like I was just constantly chasing my tail and trying to keep a routine that was realistic, say in like pandemic times and when we didn't have much life outside of literally our houses. But in real life now, where there's a lot more going on, it's just very unrealistic. We're gonna have hiccups and moments. There's gonna be times when life just gets in the way as it does, like things can be unpredictable, but just don't get too caught up in thinking, oh, like I've missed the gym for two days in a row. That's it, all my progress is done. Like two days is not gonna do anything to your results in the long game. I think the most important thing is to have a strategy, how to get yourself back. Like if you had a few weeks off, whether you're hitting your macros or eating whole foods, you know, there's always a way back to doing what makes you feel best. And then something else I get asked quite a lot over on Instagram whenever I do pretty much any Q and A's about how I stay motivated. And I think the most important thing with motivation is just remember you can't rely on something as inconsistent as motivation. But last week was a really good example. So I woke up and I slept really well. I didn't feel achy or anything. I'd had a really good week and just woke up feeling really unmotivated. I couldn't be bothered to go to the gym. I kind of got there late. And then when I got there, I realized I'd left my hip thrust pad and hadn't had any pre-workouts. So I was like, oh, I'll just grab a coffee shot. And then I went to this little cute cafe and was waiting for my coffee to cool down. I saw this delicious smoked salmon uh, poached eggs dish come out in front of me. And I was like, oh, shall I just scrap the gym today, just treat myself to a nice breakfast and forget it. Nearly did that and then I was like, no Olivia, pull yourself together, you're gonna have a really good session. So had my coffee shot, went into the gym, had the best session of the entire week, made me really think about that little inner voice that you've got in your head that's telling you to do the easier option when it doesn't always align best with your goals. If you're pushing through those feelings of discomfort, you're gonna grow so much more as a person and it just reflects so much across your entire life. Like that's why I think it is so important to have a routine and especially a fitness routine because it goes hand in hand with your work your family your friend like social life everything really of course you, you need your rest days i'm not saying like grind 24 7 and never have a rest day if you haven't already i'd really recommend reading atomic habits it's got so many gems in that book but for getting back on track with your workouts and routine you want to set yourself a schedule and time block your workouts into your day it's so much easier when you stick to the same time each day then you're not having to think so much and waste sort of energy thinking about right when we're going to train today i try and do it at least the night before or like i'll try and plan my week ahead that way you're just giving yourself so much less time and excuses to make and you know exactly what you're doing when you wake up and then it does quickly become more of an unnegotiable habit that is just part of your routine and it doesn't it's like brushing your teeth you just you feel abnormal it's the exact same with your nutrition so if something that you would like to incorporate into your routine is to have your like meals prepped say if you're working in the office and you don't want to be constantly buying something on your lunch break you could schedule in some hours on a Sunday to prep for the following week and keep some stuff in the freezer. It's just super important not to overcomplicate things. Just keep it as simple as you can. That way you're not going to sort of avoid or start procrastinating because you're adding so many different variables. Just even if you're just preparing, say you're cooking the meat and then you can take stuff like rice packets or bread to work and pop them in the toaster. Just doing one thing to start with will really help. Number two, so if you're getting back on track with your nutrition, you want to focus on quality and add in not subtracting uh, that might sound counterintuitive so what I mean by this is if you're already not having much of a balance of nutrients and then you go and say to yourself right I'm going on a strict diet I'm taking away you know I'm not having sugar I'm not having chocolate I'm not having my favorite foods like that is not going to help you the most in the long term at all we've all been there i've definitely been there and done that it's much more useful to go for more nutrient dense food focus on having more whole foods say if you've been having a very highly processed diet for a long time i don't think any foods should be forbidden foods and it's all about how much you're eating your portion control and just having a clear understanding that your favorite foods they're not going to run out you're always going to have access to them and food you love they're not disappearing out of thin air so when you have that mentality you don't feel this tense need to go and binge because you know that it's going to be there 
there rather than following a restrictive mindset of saying you can't have certain things and then as soon as you come anywhere near them you feel like you lose that self-control i'm really working on that mindset every day and challenging those thoughts that you might have that come into your head that maybe in your older mindset and just understanding where it's wrong, like questioning your thoughts. And then the third one is to add a habit to a current behavior that you already do. So say if you want to start stretching more after your workout. So rather than expecting yourself to separate it, so say you do a workout in the morning and you tell yourself, oh, I'll just stretch tonight, but that stretch never ends up happening. Making sure you add on like an extra five, 10 minutes after your workout, just adding to a behavior, it's gonna be much more likely that you'll actually do it. This is out of atom atomic habits. And I remember in the book that there was something to do with it was like brushing your teeth and then if you wanted to floss like do it straight after you brush your teeth it's just super similar so just compounding habits over time it's all about these triggers and consequences so something else that's super useful is getting your gym clothes out in the morning you're just giving yourself a lot less time and resistance when you're not having to think so much about oh, what am I going to wear are my favorite leggings in the wash kind of thing whereas if you prepare it the night before you're just helping yourself like that following day and also giving yourself more time to focus on decisions that like matter more. Something that I've been really working on that I don't know why I found a super challenge is getting more certain about times. Like I feel like I went through a stage of just being super loose. So I'd say I'd call my family or whatever, they'd ask me a question, I'd be like, oh yeah, I'll do it later. Oh yeah, I'm gonna start that soon rather than saying, oh no, I'm gonna do that on the 24th, I've already scheduled that in, or I'm doing this on this date and I'll meet you at 6 p.m. on Thursday rather than saying I'll meet you Thursday evening, you know, like you're just giving yourself much less time to procrastinate on certain things. And then number four is use ways that you already know work to keep some form of accountability. So say if you've got a gym class at 9 a.m. and you've booked it in, you're not gonna be late to that gym class because you know if it's after a certain time, like you won't be able to get in and you also don't want to feel embarrassed, this kind of thing. I'm sure there's a, a certain appointment in your life that you're just never late for, but then maybe you're late for other stuff. So use that and use those sort of tools to shape your day really. So so I know if I've got a doctor's appointment or like a hair appointment in the afternoon, I'll make sure I get certain things done before that. If it's not an appointment, but say if you organise to meet with a friend at a certain time, you know you won't be late. Use that to your advantage to keep some accountability. Similar to tracking your workouts, you're just going to build on that progression because you can actually see it in front of you rather than not really knowing if you're coming or going, you don't really know if you're progressing. Number five is focus on what you can already work on. I think we've all got those excuses that come up like, oh, I've not got enough time in the day, or oh, I don't have this. I've had it with certain stuff to do with YouTube in the past, like I'll just get in my own way sometimes. And then when you look back, you're just like, wow, that was literally all in my head. I don't need X, Y, and Z in order to film a YouTube video. Say if I've got a massive spot in the middle of my forehead, I'll be like, oh, I can't film a video because I've got Mount Everest shining in the top of my forehead. You can't let these excuses take over, creep in because it's like mold. They just grow and grow and then next thing you know you've just been absorbed by all these excuses and you start feeling really low about it. If I have a negative thought that comes in I will take a second just not all the time obviously but I'll try my best to ask myself in my head right is that thought actually true and the amount of thoughts that we have like they're definitely not all true in our heads and the scenarios we make up are just ridiculous. Working on replacing those negative self-talk thoughts with all that you already have in terms of capabilities, in terms of access, uh, you have all the tools that you need within you to get started. The last one is how your environmental changes do go a long way, just small little tweaks here and there. So like I said earlier about having your workout clothes ready the night before, leaving little visible reminders. I quite like post-it notes and say if I keep forgetting to do something like during the week, I will literally put it on my front door. So as I'm going out, I'll make sure I either pick it up. I keep forgetting my hip thrust um, pad at the moment. Like that's really annoyed me because I've been training and haven't had one and I've had to use like a foam roller and it's so irritating because I just kept forgetting it. So putting that on like my front seat of my car so I can't miss it, just little cues like that do go a long way and just save you that headspace really. Something my friend does which made me laugh because this is something I would never forget, but um, she leaves her coffee cup out the night before like with some coffee in. So she just obviously pours the kettle in the morning and I was thinking, imagine forgetting coffee. Like that's one thing I would never forget which is slightly concerning considering you know all the other little stuff that we do forget. But anyway, that brings us to the end of today's video. Let me know if you are gonna use any of these in the comments down below. And just remember with anything, the most important thing is that you just eventually get back to your routine and just make sure it is exactly what you're aiming for and you're aligned with your goals. And that is the key really. But yeah, let me know if you would like to see any more sit down videos like this. I love just chitting, chatting 
sat here and going through stuff like this because it is all in your routine. I've really learned that over the past few months. Like I got a bit down a few months ago and it was just because I was completely out of routine and every day I was kind of trying to do the same things but I hadn't scheduled in my time. I just felt like I was floating and time was flying and I wasn't getting anywhere whatsoever. And it was all because I was just out of routine and I just think that's the key to maintaining happiness and that flow state that's just dreamy. I would love you to stick around by subscribing and I'll see you in the next video.